Good afternoon and welcome to our latest vodcast which focuses on motivation theory, the work of Abraham Maslow. Maslow was working in the 1950s looking at what motivates people and this can be applied to a teaching and learning environment. Now Maslow actually said that there are many things that motivate us and each one of these levels must be met before we can actually achieve at our best in any kind of environment, the work or the learning environment. He came up with his theory which is called Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now this is usually presented as a pyramid but for the purpose of today I'm using a back to basics model which you can see in more detail of page, on page 244 of the Linda Wilson textbook. Now the first, le the first level of needs that must be met are basic needs and this is about your physical comfort. So does a learner have enough drink, you know, are they thirsty, are they hungry, D are they working in a well ventilated and heated environment with comfortable chairs etc where they feel safe and secure, are they getting enough sleep at home and this is quite challenging for us in a teaching environment because although we do our very best to create good study environments for our learners in college, we can't really influence what goes on at home and we can't assume everyone is going home to a nice clean warm house with a decent meal and a nice bed to sleep in at the end of the day. But you may see, see signs in your learners that perhaps they aren't getting enough care in the home environment. The next level is about safety and shelter. Many of our courses at college involve learners engaging in activities which are potentially very dangerous and you will find that you spend a lot of time embedding basic health and safety standards in your learners in class. So this is an important part of that process that learners feel safe and they're not at risk by anything we ask them to do. But it also extends to that feeling of trust that they feel that they're valued and that um, they're included in class and they have a good rapport with everyone they come into contact with on their course. The next level is about love and belonging. I'm sure some learners do find their ideal partner once they're studying with us at college but this is not really what it's about. It's about working in a good peer group, feeling a sense of teamwork and also being able to communicate and develop rapport and a professional working environment with the teachers and the other people they come into contact with once they're studying with us. And this enables you to feel supported and um, developed within a team environment to do your best whatever you're studying. The next level is self-esteem and this is about your achievement, so actually getting the learners getting their qualification and getting the praise and feedback from their teachers and their peers along the way to enable them to achieve at their best. And once we've done all this, the top level is self-actualisation. So this is about the recognition within ourselves that we've achieved at our best and we can transfer those skills, that knowledge and understanding to maybe a high level study, going to university for example, or into the workplace. And that thought process that goes on where we recognise where our strengths are and we keep on developing with, within whatever role we undertake. Now Maslow said that we have to move through all these levels, so from the basic physical comfort needs right the way through to self-actualisation. But there are plenty of examples of people that have achieved at the top despite many challenges to them being able to meet and maintain their basic needs. So in your discussion you, would you may like to consider some of these examples and the challenges they may present for us in a teaching environment. One of the greatest examples, I think, comes from the film Castaway, featuring Tom Hanks in the lead role. It's one of my favourite films. If you haven't seen it, you can search for a trailer on YouTube, or you can get the DVD out of the film. And it's a great example. Tom Hanks plays a character who crash lands on a desert island and uh, is stranded for some time and obviously has to find food and drink and build a shelter and do all these successfully before he's able to investigate creative ways of finding a way home and uh, out of his dilemma on the, um, on the desert island. So your task is consider the implications of Maslow's work for maintaining a safe and inclusive environment for all our learners and be prepared to share your ideas next class. Thank you.